hello and welcome to my channel in this video I will talk about PCR its principles and how it works so PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction and it is a technique which is used to amplify a specific region of DNA in simple words we can say that it is a technique which can be used to make millions and millions of copies of a specific segment of DNA in just few hours so what I mean by specific segment of DNA is that any part of DNA which we want to study or which we want to amplify so one advantage of this technique is that we can make uh, millions of copies of any segment of DNA which we want but the one thing you need to know is the sequence of that region which you want to amplify and without knowing the sequence of the region we want you want to amplify it is impossible to do a PCR reaction so this technique was first introduced by Carry Banks Mulis in 1983. So, what is the principle of PCR? PCR works on the same principle of DNA replication, which is a normal process occurring in our body to duplicate our DNA. And this step usually takes place during uh, cell division. So there are three steps of PCR. First one is denaturation and the second one is annealing and the third one is extension. We, which we will discuss each of the step in detail in just few minutes. So as we know that DNA is a double helix structure and it's both of its strands are attached together by hydrogen bonds in first step which is known as denaturation what happens that the both strands of this DNA will become separate separate and how it is possible uh, it become possible due to high temperature which is about 90 to 95 degrees Celsius uh, and the second step which is uh, annealing what happens in this step is that the primers will attach to their complementary sequence on both sides of uh, on both of the templates and the third step which is extension so in this step what happens DNA polymerase which is tag polymerase in case of uh, PCR uh, adds nucleotides to grow a new strand of DNA so at the end of this step our first cycle of PCR is completed and we will get two copies of DNA and and in next step uh, and in this slide we will discuss uh, essential components of PCR so the main component of PCR is the thermal cycler which is also known as PCR machine and we also need some ingredients to make a PCR uh, reaction mixture which are DNA template which act as uh, which we want to uh, amplify and we also need uh, primers which are forward primer and reverse primer and these primers will uh, attach to their complementary sequence on both strands of DNA uh, we also need DNTPs which they are the building blocks of DNA and we also need DNA polymerase and in case of uh, PCR this DNA polymerase is tag polymerase and this tag polymerase is called so because it is 
isolated from a thermus aquaticus bacterium which is a thermophilic bacteria uh, and it can efficiently work on high temperature which is about 72 degrees celsius the next thing we need is magnesium chloride and this uh, magnesium chloride act as cofactor during this PCR reaction and the last thing we need is PCR buffer so all of these ingredients will be added to this PCR tube and this PCR tube will be placed in PCR machine to run the PCR reaction in next uh, slide we will discuss uh, different steps of PCR and the procedure of PCR so as I have discussed earlier that PCR has three steps and first one is denaturation this step takes place at 90 to 95 degrees Celsius for 30 to 55 seconds and what happened in this step is that DNA which is a double helix structure and both of strands are joined together by hydrogen bond so what happens in this step that the hydrogen bonds between both of these strands will break down and both of the DNA strands will become separate and how it is possible it uh, due to high temperature of uh, due to high temperature which is about uh, 90 to 95 uh, degrees Celsius so the next step is annealing so before uh, discussing this step we should know about the primers primer is a nucleic a uh, short nucleic acid sequence which is about 18 to 25 in length that provide a starting point for DNA synthesis and the important one important thing you need to know about primer is that they always bind to three prime end of the parent strand and why they are uh, they always bind to three prime end because DNA grow always grow from five prime to three prime so in this step the both of the primers will attach to their complementary sequence on both strands and the temperature uh, which is used in this step is 50 to 65 degrees Celsius uh, and the time is used for this step is 30 to 55 seconds our next step is extension so in this step what happen uh, what happens DNA polymerase which is a tag polymerase in case of PCR will add nucleotides to grow a new strand of DNA and this step usually takes place at 72 degrees Celsius for 30 to 55 seconds and at the end of this step we will we have completed our first cycle and we will get two copies of DNA so in this uh, so in this video we have discussed PCR uh, its uh, principles its essential components and different steps of PCR uh, now just review it so PCR is a technique which is used to make millions and millions copies of DNA this technique was developed by or uh, introduced by Carrie Banks Mullis in 1983 and so important PCR ingredients are DNA template primers DNTPs tag polymerase magnesium chloride and PCR buffer so we also discuss the the steps of PCR so first step is denaturation which is just the separation of both strands of DNA and the second step is annealing we uh, and in this step 
both of the primers will attach to their complementary sequence on both strands of DNA and the third step which is extension and what happens in this step is that um, tag polymerase will add nucleotides to grow a new DNA strand so this was all about PCR I hope you have learned something new in this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon